This video will demonstrate how to perform a Man Whitney test on a two independent samples design or between participants design with two conditions. So in this task um, we have a male participants who were interviewed either by male or female interviewer and their percentage of the eye contact they maintained uh, was recorded. So. Um, it was hypothesized that um, there will be a difference in the percentage of time the eye contact was held depending on the gender of the interviewer. This hypothesis is a non-directional and therefore we'll know we need to do the two-tailed test. So um, how the data would look when you enter it in SPSS is like this. So you'll have the gender of the interviewer coded either as one or two. You can code it whatever you feel like maybe you want to do it as a dummy variable for this particular sample it doesn't make any difference i coded um, one being male two being female and the eye contact because it wasn't a percentage of time it's it's a scale and gender is nominal because they either can be male or female so um, going back to the data view First, as you do with any statistical analysis, you analyze your means and standard deviation unless they won't make any sense for your data. For our case, we compare the mean differences between the um, participants in two conditions. So, um, we, as with Wilcoxon, um, Man Whitney allows you to perform the descriptive statistic as part of the test. However, it will give you the descriptive statistics for gender and for eye contact, which is not what we want. Um, therefore, run the descriptive statistics separately for two groups. The easiest way of doing it, you can go to data, split file, organize output by groups, and you put the two groups are based on gender. Okay. Then we'll go analyze descriptive statistic descriptives we put eye contact because that's our dependent variable in options you can choose what you want mean standard deviation range minimum maximum usually the ones by default uh, that's selected by default will work fine you press ok and here we go this is our output for male participants minimum maximum mean and the standard deviation of the eye contact the same for the female participants now we can go and analyze is there a mean if there is a mean difference uh, between pretty much 28 and 25 to do that remember to deselect the output uh, split by group because otherwise spss will analyze it still split by group and your result will make no sense. Okay, so we analyze all cases. Um, Man Whitney is a non-parametric test. So again, it's a non-parametric um, box in a legacy box. And we know that it's two independent samples. The Man Whitney test is chosen for you by default. So you know you're in a correct um, menu. Now, your gender is your grouping variable. To define groups, just place um, the numbers or the values for your groups that you assigned to it in a variable view box, what, whatever values you assigned. Continue. Eye contact is your test variable, and test variable list always refers to the dependent variable. You can choose the options asymptotic, Monte Carlo, exact, our sample is quite small, so you can choose exact significance. Sometimes um, SPSS would struggle to calculate exact significance for the big data set. This data set is very small, so it shouldn't be any problem. In options, as I said, we could choose descriptive statistics, but it will produce a meaningless result. So just for the sake of showing you how meaningless the result will be, we'll choose it so you could see that it makes no sense. Okay, here we go. So this is the descriptive statistics that uh, Man Whitney will produce uh, sorry, by default. And what we have is the mean of the eye contact for all 20 participants and the mean of gender of the interview, 
this is a complete nonsense. So this table makes no sense and in a man with me I would say don't choose it. Here we go. The ranks for the eye contact for male and female interviewers. And here we have Man Whitney. And we have the exact significance either for two-tailed or for one-tailed. Our hypothesis was um, non-directional. We just stated there that there will be a difference. We didn't say who will uh, maintain more eye contact, who will maintain less co eye contact, and therefore we'll go for the two-tailed. And the result is shown to be insignificant. And therefore, our conclusion is that there is no significant difference um, in the length of the eye contact maintained by male participants, either with male or female interviewers. And that's, and that's it to the Man-Whitney test.